Hello, so today I have a ton of makeup to share with you and this is back to school, back to work 2021 and everything is under $10. Last year I did under five. I thought I would go ahead and like bump it up a little. So if you'd like to see my top picks plus me applying full face of makeup under $10, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. All that kind of stuff that way you don't miss out on the daily uploads i also do have an only fans page dedicated to this channel so you can watch tomorrow's video there today for free chatting live streams all sorts of stuff link is down below if you'd like to check it out so okay we're just gonna go get go ahead and get into it um i'm gonna be talking about the products um, that i'm using a little bit more in depth and then i'll just show some some other options stuff like that but um best eyebrow um, pencil under $10, and this is actually under $5, is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I'm going to be using Auburn. It does come with a spoolie, and it's creamy. It's easy to use, but then it sets um, to pretty budge-proof all day, so let's just go ahead and uh, do this. They're definitely cousins today, but really, really nice pencil. Definitely, definitely recommend it. If you're looking for more of a pomade, I really like the, uh, sorry, it's early. I haven't had enough coffee. I really like the e.l.f. Lock on Liner and Brow Cream. Um, this stuff will last you forever. It stays really, really creamy. Um, this stuff is a great liner and a great eyebrow pomade. Absolutely love this. Um, one thing I'm gonna be using after my foundation and stuff um, if you're looking for a really nice um, fiber, like brow gel, the um, Elf um, Wow Brow. Elf does make really, really good brow products, so definitely, definitely recommend. So, okay, so primer, um, like eye primer, um, I'm going with the NYX Pigment Primer. They also have a really nice glitter glue. Um, definitely recommend those two if you're using like a shimmer shadow. Definitely go in with the NYX glitter glue, no, non-irritating, just really, really nice, but I'm going to be using the pigment primer today, and then we'll go ahead and get into eyeshadow palettes, because I've got quite a few to share with you, so... Their jumbo sticks are really good too, if you want more of a stick primer, there's a whole bunch of different shades. The white one called Milk is really, really good, but they do have like shimmer ones. Uh, they have a really pretty black one. So yeah, NYX does have really nice eye primers. So my favorite is the Ofra um, gel eye primer. Sometimes it's under 10, sometimes it's not. So I just went ahead and just went with this one, but it is a really nice eye primer. It does stay really tacky. So, okay. so. These are under $5, but the e.l.f. Bite Size Palettes, I feel like a lot of people, they definitely recommend these. I do as well. Uh, four pan palettes, they're about $3, and I have all of them except for the Hot Jalapeno one, um, but really, really nice little quads. Definitely recommend these. Another really good option is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Five Pan Palettes. Really, really love these, and they're three or four dollars. A lot of these products you can buy on Amazon. I will link as much as I can down below. Just so you know, it will be an Amazon affiliate link. Just, just FYI. Um, some other really good quads are the L'Oreal little quads in the black packaging. They're beautiful. Um, they have enough mattes and shimmers to do a complete eye look, but really, really pretty. They have like nice neutral ones. This is, I don't know what color this is. Anyway, uh, it's the color rich quads um, and they also have brights so I have a really pretty turquoise one that's gorgeous so really really nice um, some larger palettes that are 15 pan palettes but they range from six to seven dollars of course I had to talk about the revolution reloaded palettes they have a ton of these I've got quite a few other ones I still need to try but um, I absolutely love this Neutrals 3-1. Totally reminds me of like the Pumpkin Spice palettes that come out in the fall. Very, very nice and warm. 
but large pans, pigmented. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So really, really recommend these if you're looking for a larger palette. It's the Revolution uh, Reloaded, and it comes in tons of different shades. So those are stunning. But today, sorry, let me go ahead and just, today I am gonna be using a bite size quad. Um, and I'm going to be using the Berry Bad. I've never used this before, but I just opened it. But uh, once again, pretty nice and warm. It looks really, really pretty. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this because. Okay, so that is all four shades. Um, a little bit of fallout, but that's why I went ahead and did my eyes first. But really, really nice pigmentation, easy to use. You can do an all matte eye, you can go and add shimmers, but beautiful. I'll go ahead and finish my eyes with this when we are past foundation. Okay, so I do have a few different foundations for different skin types. So if you are oily, I definitely recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Full Coverage Mattifying Foundation. This is really nice and moussey. It's around 4 or $5 at Walmart. You can get it for like $3 on Amazon, depending on the shade, but really, really love this stuff. Really, really good. If you have normal to dry skin, I definitely recommend the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. This is SPF 50, full coverage. I would say this is more like a high medium, but really, really do love this. It is really, really nice. So definitely like this and recommend it. Um, once again, if you have normal to combo skin, I would definitely recommend the CoverGirl Outlast Active 24 hour foundation. Don't knock stuff over, Thor. Um, definitely recommend this. It's really good coverage. It does last all day long. Ah, Thor, no. Sorry, he is head bumping my tripod. Thor, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna pick you up and show people you if you don't stop. But yeah, really, really good stuff. I do like it a lot. Um, another one that I could not find, I think I already used it up. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. That is like a top three for me and it's four to five dollars on Amazon and at Walmart. Really, really good stuff. You don't get quite an ounce, but it's worth it. Just beautiful. Today I'm going to be using the True Match um, Lumi Healthy Luminous Skin Foundation from L'Oreal. This stuff is really, really nice and definitely, definitely recommend it. It's just beautiful light to medium coverage you can build it up hey can you break can you toss me one of my little black sponges I, I wasn't totally prepared I wasn't totally prepared but this is just a really beautiful lightweight foundation and as you can see I do have like some old zits that and scars that need to be covered thank you sorry and oh yeah if you are looking for a dupe for the Tati Blendiful haven't tried that one but it's the Yeo Twin Little Puffs you can get a six pack for like four dollars on Amazon. <gasps> Mother, mm. breathe. I just I'm not even kidding you. I just oh, mm. <sighs> just got foundation all over my pants and my brand new duvet cover. And I said the F word, so of course I had to edit that out. Okay, it comes with a pump. It's really, really nice. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Hey, if you know how to get foundation out of fabric, let me know down below. Appreciate it. Okay. But it's nice and lightweight. But let's go ahead and just apply this. Okay, so as you can see, it is a really pretty glowy foundation. I usually don't go with super glowy foundations because I do have combo skin, but the L'Oreal Lumi foundation, I think it's good for all skin types unless you're super oily. Really, really good foundation. I did use quite a bit, so that's why I was able to get this better coverage. 
but um, it's lightweight, it blends beautifully, and it just looks so pretty on the skin. Very, very skin-like, even when it's set with powder. So, okay, concealers, I just have two. Um, the e.l.f. Um, camo concealer is really, really nice, but with that I also have to talk about the hydrating one. So hydrating one is the one in the white. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. It's really, really good stuff. And then just the good old-fashioned e.l.f. camo concealer. Really good coverage, good stain power. You don't need a ton. So um, if you have dry skin, dry under eyes, I would definitely uh, recommend the hydrating, which is the white cap and then just the regular. It's a little bit more matte. It is the black cap, so definitely recommend those. And then, of course, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealers. These are like a holy grail for me. Absolutely love these. Um, really, really good. Uh, very full coverage. Just really, really nice on the skin. Doesn't crease, anything like that. I am going to be using the Hydrating Camo Concealer today, just because I haven't used it in a while. So, um, just so you know, their shades are slightly different from the regular in the black cap, so just be aware of that. There is a slight color difference, so. But this is in the shade Medium Peach. I don't think that's a medium, personally, but that's just me. Mm, not really a scent, which is nice. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I still say that this does have full coverage. Um, even though it is a little bit more hydrating, but some people do disagree with that. They do think that the camo concealer and the black cap is more full coverage, and I think that they are equal, personally, but... Look at that. I mean, it's gone. Beautiful. Okay, so going on to face powders. I do that four. I know, I went a little extra. So an oldie, but a goodie, definitely, definitely recommend is the Cody Airspun. This is about six or seven dollars. Um, you do get a huge amount. This is 2.3 ounces, which is crazy, but really, really good stuff. It does have a scent, just so you know. Um, you can sometimes find the scent free. I believe it is in a green packaging, but really, really good stuff. This stuff will last you forever. Definitely, definitely recommend. Another oldie but a goodie is the Fit Me Loose Powder. Really, really good stuff. Um, it's just it's just a good, nice loose powder, so really, really nice. And then something that's a little bit newer, you can still get this at Walmart for about five or six dollars. It's the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe Translucent Powder with Rosehip Oil. This stuff is just so smoothing and blurring. It is white, but it doesn't leave any kind of whiteness on the skin, so definitely love this stuff. And then, um, once again, oldie but a goodie. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder. I always get mine in natural, which is 003. Um, it is a pressed powder, but really, really good. So today we are gonna be using the Hard Candy. I feel like I definitely don't have a ton of Hard Candy products that I use. I just barely picked up a, um, what's it called? I picked up an eyeshadow palette and some lipsticks. So, just barely that I'm gonna be trying because I wanna know if I'm sleeping on the brand. I might be, I don't know. But, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and set the under eyes a little. It does have a slight sweet scent, but it's not overwhelming or anything. Even when you go in ham like I am, it doesn't leave you dry or cakey or anything like that. I think the rosehip oil definitely helps with that. As you can see, I still have a glow on my forehead, on my nose. It's just a really, really nice powder. It sets everything, but you're not gonna feel dry, which is really, really nice. I'm 36 and um, I finally, finally, you know, not into the super, super matte skin. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It's, it's still all over my pants and my duvet. I have to try to spot to clean this stuff. Urgh. 
Okay, so bronzers. The Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette number one. I believe they have number two as well. But you get um, three highlighters and then you get three like contour shades. So you do have like a white kind of neutral shade, beigey shade for like setting your under eyes or if you're doing a matte highlighting. And you do have two bronzers, contour shades. This is around $5. Super, super nice. All of Profusion stuff is awesome. So if you're looking for highlighter, bronzer, contour all in one for five or six dollars, definitely recommend the Profusion Highlight and Contour one. They do have a darker one and it's number two, but really, really good. The um, Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is in natural, it's super, super nice stuff. Really, really like it. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, sorry about that. I tried to hurry up and spot clean and foundation isn't coming out of the duvet. Sorry, I was obsessing about it. So anyway, we were talking about bronzer. So um, my last one is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder. This is super, super beautiful. Um, they do have quite a few shades. This is number 22, Sun Bronzer. It's matte, absolutely gorgeous. This is what I'm gonna be using and it's around four or five dollars at Walmart. Um, around three dollars on Amazon, but just beautiful. Just gives you a nice kind of slight sun-kissed look. So it reminds me a lot of the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Bronzing Powder where it's waterproof and long-lasting, super easy to use, but Absolutely love this stuff. Rimmel does have quite a few really, really nice products. That's another brand I feel like I don't have a ton of, um, but it's pretty affordable. So you see how it just gives a natural kind of warmth to the skin. It's not harsh. Um, you can really dig your brush in and it's just Super, super beautiful. So yeah, definitely recommend the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel. Super, super nice. Blushes. Okay, so I've got two. Sorry, just, yeah. Um, well, I guess technically a little bit more, but that's in a highlighting palette, but the Colormates blushes from Dollar Tree. These are amazing. You get a very nice large pan and they're just super, super pigmented and beautiful, long lasting can't go wrong with the color mates blushes they're just amazing for a buck I mean it's just out of this world um, another thing that is really really good is the covergirl cheekers absolutely love these um, Emily Noel definitely turned me on to these but super gorgeous you can always find them on sale but they're just really really beautiful kind of natural looking powder blushes long lasting you can for three four bucks at the store two to three dollars on Amazon but I got mine obviously on sale for 99 cents and I'm going to be using iced cappuccino today. It's just a really kind of pretty neutral kind of blush. It does have a little bit of uh, luminosity, but it's really, really pretty. It does come with one of those totally useless brushes, so just definitely recommend just tossing those. <laughs> but do you see that? I mean, it just gives a little bit of glow, but it's not garish. It's not... Um, frosted it's just a little bit of luminosity which is nice sometimes for a blush they do have matte versions like the like this one this one's matte um, really really nice so they do have shimmer and mattes so but really really pretty super affordable okay highlighters this one also has a ton of sh different options but from mainly the same brand so this is exactly ten dollars and it's huge it's the catrice sungasm face and body highlighter beautiful beautiful so you do get um 0.98 ounces so almost a full ounce which is crazy a regular pressed um highlighter is 0.19 so this one is huge, beautiful. Um, I do think it's good for the majority of skin tones. It is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this one. Absolutely gorgeous. So definitely recommend the Catrice Sungasm. If you are, it's right at that $10 mark on um, Amazon. I actually saw it on sale for eight bucks the other day. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlighter. 
the rest are from Wet n Wild. I know you're shocked. So the Wet n Wild, these are the blush lighters. So you get a blush and a highlighter. I've got almost all the shades, really, really nice. They're super glowy. So the blushes are super glowy. So are the highlighters. So if you do have um, a lot of texture to the skin, I would definitely avoid these, but they're nice and pigmented and really, really pretty. So, but you do get the duo. So highlighter blush. So once again, a little bit more bang for your buck. They're about $5. Um, their loose highlighters are absolutely stunning. I've got quite a few of them. Um, I finally got the one with the skull on it. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Moon Tears. Got that for my birthday. Finally found one. Um, but the Fantasy Makers, the Wet n Wild, whatever, the loose highlighters are gorgeous and they will last you forever for sure. And then they're good old fashioned just pressed highlighters. Um, in the square package. This is a Fantasy Makers one, but they do just have their regular ones. I, I, yeah, but super pretty, super glowy. This is the Fantasy Makers one. They're just absolutely out of this world. They're like four or five dollars. Um, sometimes you can even get them cheaper on Amazon. So yeah, but we're going to go in with this really pretty one. This is the Fanny Fantasy Makers highlighter in halo effect, but on the skin. I've got quite a few high-end highlighters, but I still think that the drugstore does an amazing job with highlighters. Even ones from the Dollar Tree, from LA Colors. Um, they have huge um, LA Color ones that are in a very large pan, absolutely stunning. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on a highlighter. Even though it is nice to have a high-end one from time to time, Dollar Tree, Drugstore, they all have really, really nice, look at that, they all have really, really nice highlighters. Okay, I'm going to hurry up and finish off my lower lash line as well, because why not? Um, I don't think that um, setting spray is a must, I, I don't. But one that I really do like, it's more of an essence. It's just gonna help take down a powdery look, which we're not super powdery, but the Revolution Skincare Super Fruit. They have all a bunch of different varieties, but I do love this. Really nice, fine mister. It smells good. And it's a little bit of skincare, so. I am one of those ladies that I do just douse my face, but it just really helps to kind of Add a little bit more moisture back to the skin, the makeup. And, sorry, I had to put that away, but yeah, really, really nice. But let's talk about mascaras. So I've got four, two from Essence, um, one from L'Oreal, one from ELF. So ELF's new Lash It Loud mascara blew my mind. It is really, really good. It's about six or seven dollars, I believe. It does come with one of those from the devil plastic brushes. So. I wish it was a different brush, but really good formula. It doesn't smudge. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So really, really like that. Um, of course, well, this is one of my new favorites. It's the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This stuff is so long lasting. It makes your lashes super fat, super thick. So if you're looking for something that's super voluminous, I would go with the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. It does have a nicer kind of large uh, brush a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous application. You guys have seen me use this time in and time out. It's definitely a new favorite. If, you're, if you are someone that you have a hard time with flaking and smudging, then I definitely recommend the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I am out of this. Um, I need to buy another one, but I'm not going to because I have so many mascaras, but just a regular, really nice brush. Doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. I have oily eyelids, I have combo skin. I'm a heavy sweater. This has been put through the ringer and it's never flaked, never smudged on me. Really, really good mascara. So once again, you know, Essence mascaras are super affordable. So if you have problems with the smudging and flaking, go with the Bye Bye Panda Eyes mascara from Essence. Stunning, stunning, stunning. 
Okay, so another Essence one. This is beautiful. It's the Essence Defined Volume Mascara. 24 hour long lasting and conditioning volume mascara for a defined result with plant ingredients like rice wax, hemp seed, jojoba, and almond oil. Once again, this is really, really nice. Vegan, cruelty free, and um, I love this stuff. It's great. This just has one of those fat teddy bear brushes. This is the one we're gonna use, and uh, let's do it. It's not as voluminous as the L'Oreal Air Volume, but it does give some good length, some good definition, and some volume. But as you can see, really, really nice. They don't get spidery or clumpy at all, but yeah, definitely love the defined volume from uh, Essence. Okay, another large category is lips, but only because I wanted to give you lip balms, lip glosses, regular lipsticks, liquid, so we've got all of them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with liquid. There's just one. It is the Maybelline um, Superstay Matte Ink. These are amazing. 16 hour wear time is what they say. I have had them last longer. Um, they are just stunning. Um, a lot of people have said that they are sticky. You need to just go in with a very, very light coat, press your lips together, and then not re-dip the, um, the applicator, and then just go ahead. And I always clean mine off as well. That way you get the least amount of product, but they are pigmented, um, just stunning, stunning um, lip colors. I just got a black one for fall and Halloween. Like super excited, but yeah, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks, as long as you go in with a very thin coat, you're not going to be disappointed. They're gorgeous, so a ton of different shades. I really, really love them. They're amazing. Okay, so let's go and get to bullet lipsticks. So if you want a really nice, super shiny one, the um, color, the L'Oreal Color Riche um, Plump and Shine Lipsticks, these are stunning. I absolutely love these. They're like a shiny balm, but they're glossy, they're moisturizing, they're pigmented, but they give you more of that kind of glossy effect. So definitely, definitely recommend these. You can get them online for like three or four dollars. So the L'Oreal Color Riche Plump and Shine Lipsticks, a little bit cooling and tingly, but gorgeous, gorgeous. I know I didn't do a full application, but it's okay. Okay, I mean, quite pigmented. They're super comfortable, and they're surprisingly long-lasting. They're gonna fade, but they're really, really nice. Of course, we couldn't have a best of video without the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. This is in Rose Velvet. These are just incredible. They have a really nice, pleasant, light fragrance. Um, they have a million different shades. They have the shimmers, sheers, mattes, um, yeah, they just have a whole bunch of different formulas. I love them all, but it's just a good old-fashioned cream. They're just beautiful on the lips, super moisturizing, even the matte ones surprisingly, but they just, they kind of sit, I don't know how to explain it. They make your lips look more pillowy, and if you have lip lines, I have lip lines, I'm a smoker, I'm 36, but they kind of sit above it so they don't sink in, but really, really beautiful, whole bunch of different shades. You can find these on sale all the time, but the Revlon Super Lustrous, out of this world good, definitely, definitely recommend. Let's take this off, because we have one I'm gonna be showing you, and I'm gonna be wearing that one, but once again, just tons of different shades. I've probably got about 20 or 30 shades Whenever I see them on sale, and if I can afford it, I'll pick a few up. But they're gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna be going in with the Joa Joa. I'm your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick. I got these on their website when I picked up their little um, palette. It had bronzers and highlighters and eyeshadows. But these are gorgeous. I've worn one before and I absolutely loved them, but I think I'm going to be going in with a really pretty kind of berry shade, and this is in Boo Thing. 
but these really are a gel lipstick. I don't know how they made them so lightweight and pigmented, like you'll see here in a moment what I'm talking about. But beautiful gold packaging. They are K-Beauty inspired and they're just gorgeous. I don't know why they put like the plastic that you have to rip off and then they're sealed as well. I mean, I appreciate it, I guess, but I kind of just want to get into my lipstick. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. Today's just not been a good day. And of course I messed up the tip. Oh well. But really, really beautiful watch. It's matte. Lightweight. So, so pretty, so, so nice. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous, long lasting, but that pigmentation is just out of this world. So yeah, the uh, Joas I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipsticks, I just, I still don't know how they came out with such a good formula. And I haven't been hearing people talk about these, but stunning, stunning matte lipsticks, super comfortable, and uh, they're so lightweight, just blew my mind. Okay, let's go on to lip balms. So tinted lip balms. Um, I have to give it to the Nivea um, strawberry, or the Nivea lip balms. They have black cherry, strawberry. They have a bunch of different shades. Definitely, definitely love them. They're my favorite tinted lip balms. Super affordable. I want to get the peach one, but heavens knows I don't need any more lip balms. But beautiful, beautiful um, light wash of color. They smell nice. So if you are more of a just simple person that you don't want a ton on your lips, then definitely go with the Nivea lip balms. They're beautiful. Definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, yeah, here is the black, um, the blackberry. This is like a very popular shade, as you can see why. It has a lot of pigment. Um, pretty much goes with anything. Oh, we get the storm, the lighting's changing, maybe. Anyway, beautiful. Okay, lip glosses. Uh, what I'm gonna be using today is the Essence, Essence Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss. Um, super affordable, once again, cruelty-free and vegan, but it does have a slight bit of shimmer. Really, really nice and doe foot. And it does plump. And they're pretty pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on, on the center. Super, super nice, super comfortable, um, slightly minty, really, really good. And lastly, I have to give it to the NYX Butter Glosses. Once again, pigmented, smooth, creamy, just beautiful, beautiful lip glosses. They're stunning, I absolutely love them. Once again, comes in a ton of different shades and you can get them for three or four dollars on Amazon. Same about four or five maybe at the store. So. Yeah, the NYX Butter Glosses are out of this world. Really, really love them, so definitely, definitely recommend. But anyway, there we go. That is my huge back to school, back to work um, makeup that I recommend that are under $10. And uh, I know that there's a lot more that I could have put in this video, but I already know this video is gonna be like 45 minutes long, so sorry about that. Um, Anyway, let me know down below in the comments what are some of your suggestions for really good makeup under $10. I would love to know down below. And uh, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Um, yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. It's been a long video and I messed up my duvet cover, but oh well, stuff happens. Um, just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, all sorts of stuff. It'll be linked down below, as well as my Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and hauls and all sorts of stuff. So, like I said, link down below. And um, of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your coin, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here just a second.